The next question regards the history of fasting, actually. Um, was the time period for the observing uh, of a fast and abstaining from the things which break the fast, which you've already mentioned, always the same since the beginning of time or for the Muslims? As far as the Muslims are concerned, when the first time it was mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 183, which I mentioned earlier, that fasting was fard. At that time, the Muslims used to fast three days in a month. Later on, when the verse of the Quran was revealed of Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 185, which I quoted the second time, that Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed, and in it is guidance for the humankind, and in it are signs for guidance and judgment, right and wrong. So the Muslims, when they witnessed this month, they should fast. So then it became fard for the Muslim to fast the complete month of Ramadan. First it was only three days every month, then it became one full month, only the month of Ramadan. As far as the things that break the fast are concerned, one of the things that break the fast, it is sexual intercourse, even with your wife. So previously, when this verse of Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 185 was revealed, it was not mentioned in detail. So the Muslims at that time, they used to abstain from sexual intercourse, approaching their wives for the full month of Ramadan, even during the day and night. And it was very difficult for many of the Muslims, many of the Sahabas. And that reminds me of a quotation or incidents which is mentioned in one of the commentaries of the Quran. If you read the commentary of the Quran, the Qurtubi, volume number two, page number 210, it mentions there that Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, once after speaking with the Prophet late in the night, he comes back home. And he has the urge to sleep with his wife. And he spends the time with his wife and he has sexual intercourse with his wife. In the morning when he gets up, he feels very bad. He's ashamed. He immediately goes to the Prophet and he says that I ask pardon from Allah and his messenger for what I've done. And my soul was attracted towards my wife. And I had a relationship with my wife in the night. Is there any way that I can be pardoned? Or is there any way that I can escape? So the Prophet said, is it true that you actually did this? He said, yes, Prophet. The Prophet was shocked. How could Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, could do a thing at that time it was prohibited? He said, yes, Allah's Messenger, I did it. Is there any way I can be pardoned? So the Prophet said, no one besides Allah can give the command. And Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, immediately after this, the verse of Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 187 was revealed. It says, that permitted to you during the nights of the fast is approaching your wives. And then it says, Hunna libasul lakum wa antum libasul lahunna. That they are your garments and you are their garments. That means your wives are your garments and you are the garments of your wife. And Allah says that we know what you do secretly in the night. But Allah forgave you. And from now onwards, you can approach your wives during the nights of the fast. And you can eat and drink till the white thread of dawn is differentiated from the black thread. So when this verse was revealed later on, Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 87, then the rules were a bit more relaxed. That they could have sexual relationship with their wife during the nights, but during the day they have to abstain. Furthermore, as far as eating was concerned, Previously, before Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 187 was revealed, the Muslims could eat and drink after the sun sets. But the moment they sleep, after that they can't eat. Then they can eat only the next day after sunsets. So there's the incident of one of the Sahabas, Kayas, may Allah be pleased with him. He worked very hard and he was fasting. And when it was time to break the fast, he comes home. And he tells his wife that, I want to have some food. So wife says that there's no food in the house. I'll just get it from outside. 
and she goes out to get food. Now, because he was tired working the full day, by the time the wife comes back, he goes to sleep. When the wife comes back to the house, she sees the husband has gone to sleep. So now she says, finish. Once he's gone to sleep, he can't eat. So that night, he could not eat. The next day, he had to fast. And by evening the next day, he faints. And the people go to the Prophet that this is what happened. Because once you sleep, you can't eat. Later on, this verse was which I said earlier. Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 97, which says, besides approaching your wives at night, you can eat and drink till the white thread of dawn is differentiated from the black thread. So then the rules that we follow today, that fasting means that you have to abstain from food and drink and nourishment, as well as from sexual intercourse, right from dawn unto sunset. And having the intention that we have to be the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's an act of worship. So this is the history how we finally got this.